Hey guys, Eric, CEO of the Swiss here. Welcome back on the channel. And today I'm bringing you the big iron. Okay, so what exactly is this thing? Um, this, is a, this is a friend's gun. Uh, he inherited it from his dad. It was in his collection. And uh, this is an old uh, Italian revolving rifle that has been, well, cut down. Uh, there's no more stock, now it's a pistol grip, making it the longest boy in the land. Um, this is by Army Jaeger, uh, an Italian company. Uh, this is called the model Frontier Carbine, uh, caliber 22 Magnum, so it's uh, more of a long iron than a big iron, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, mechanically, it's a simple single action army style uh, revolver. So you would put it on half, half cock, open the gate, and you would load six, and then you're ready to fire. It has a rear adjustable sight. You can adjust it for windage and elevation, and the front blade at the front uh, is not adjustable it's fixed to the barrel uh, there's no way you can file it if you want to get it lower but it's not it's not in a dovetail or anything you can you can't remove it uh, it's brazed uh, in place this long pin at the front under the barrel uh, that's not the axis of the cylinder that's actually uh, the ex ejection rod uh, there's a mechanism uh, inside the handguard that kind of puts it on the side, so it's centered here, but the rod is actually like on the right side of it. Um, I won't show you this because the handguard has a crack and I don't want to disassemble it and make it worse. So we will leave it at that. Uh, if you want to remove the cylinder, uh, just like a single action army, you have the button on this side to remove the axis pin, uh, but you have to remove the handguard to do that. I'm sure you know how a single action army uh, disassembles, so I won't bother. It has a few markings on the side, uh, mostly uh, proof marks and an AF number. Uh, the AF is the Italian uh, date codes. Uh, AF means 1980, so this one was built in 1980. I don't know when the modification was made. Uh, my friend's dad uh, got this from someone already in the States, so this information is probably lost to time now. Now it's a real fun gun to shoot, mostly because it's, it's so ridiculous. I mean, look at this. Um, the carbine uh, was supposed to be uh, held like shouldered and you hold it like this. Um, you have gas escaping from the cylinder gap and you can feel it on your arm. Uh, it's fine, uh, it's shooting 22 Magnum, uh, I shot 22 LR in it, you can feel a bit of gas hitting you, but it's not so bad, it's doable. So, with the stock removed, you either shoot it holding it like this, or one-handed, but it's very heavy, or two-handed, supported. It's really fun, uh, it's kind of a... It's a range toy more than anything else. Uh, it's quite accurate. I mean, it's a revolver with a very, very long barrel, uh, but um, I don't think you're gonna win an Olympic uh, 25 meter shooting competition <laughs> with this thing. Um, but it's, yeah, it's great fun. Uh, we brought it to the range with my friend and uh, everyone around us loved it and I love it. I shot it a bit. I can't wait to take it to the range again and shoot it some more, especially with 22 Magnum. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to show you this uh, cool piece of old Italian firearms. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a nice day. See you next time.